ರಾಗಾದಿರೋಗಾನ್ ಸತತಾನುಷಕ್ತಾನ್ ಶೇಷಕಾಯಾನ್ ಪ್ರಸುತಾನ ಶೇಷಾನ್ ಔಸ್ತುಕ್ಯ ಮೋಹೋ ರತಾನ್ ಜಹಾನ ಯೋ ಅಪೂರ್ವ ವೈದ್ಯಾಯ ನಮೋಸ್ತು ತಸ್ಮೈ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ಪೀಪಲ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಲಾಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕಂಟ್ರಿಬ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಟು ಟೈಮ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಆಲ್ ಅಪೂರ್ವ ವೈದ್ಯಾಸ್ ದೋಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಅವರ್ ಆಯುರ್ವೇದ ಟ್ರೆಡಿಷನ್ ಲೈವ್ಲಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಂಫರ್ಟಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ಕ್ಲೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ದೋಷಾಸ್ and also making the ailed people or the diseased people to the normalization a big question is going to be there always all the time a repeated frequently asked questions i was hearing a couple of days back also today also while taking this neha pana whether we have to use the medicated ghee or the achap neha pana the question is being repeatedly being asked because of only one reason the whatever the answer we are receiving is not proper or at least to our consciousness if the same question is being asked by a patient to you then what is your answer being a professional when you are not being satisfied with the answer being given by the people of the ayurveda how come your patient is going to be get compromised and to follow your prescription this is a biggest question this makes the difference that means ultimately what we are in society facing the issues and the problems are convincing the patient and to make our ayurveda propagated in a proper way with the efficacy and established results now this question of the achas nehapana and the medicated ki the simplest difference what i find from my experience i am telling whenever we are making the sneha pana for a swastha go for the achha sneha pana because this is going to be as being said a smaller chains of the carbons or the fatty chains are going to be very comfortably penetrating the barrier and reaching the blood why we require the fats why this neha pana whatever the way we are going to be given as a vicharana or the abhyantara sneha pana the lipids which enter into the blood stream they are going to be get collected with the some of the ammonia waste by products which are going to be freely flowing in the blood very specifically whatever the componentals which we are going to see in the blood as a by products are also physiological in nature did you ever think of the what is the physiological function of the blood urea if there is a zero blood urea is being made whether the people are going to be get survived no they will die if there is a zero creatinine is being made are they going to survive they are going to die this serum creatinine blood urea uric acid many of these components which we are speaking as on today of the by products are having a proper metabological function also the increasing and decreasing makes the differences these factors are the by products are of the two categorization in specific it can be expanded even the first one is said to be the water soluble the second is the lipid soluble third is the alcohol water soluble we have ayurvedic people have understood the fourth category lacto soluble we have total together four varieties of the chemical components which are freely flowing in the blood water soluble fat soluble alcohol water soluble and the lacto soluble that is the reason these four varieties of mediums are being well practiced wherever it is necessary in ayurveda in the context of the vamana in the context of the any of the shodhana karma of the pancha karma another frequently asked question is how you are going to identify the kosta gatatvam of the dosha 
or the shakha gatatvam of the dosha this i have demonstrated in the vmt when i am practicing i was when i was there in the vmt mumbai kargar simple now everybody is well known with that of the pulse oximeter you start noted noting the pulse oximeter oxygen percentage and the pulse rate of course monitor along with the bp the frequent steps how we are going to make out each and everything is very scientific in ayurveda there is absolutely no problem maybe the terminologies which are being used are being said in explanation how a different vocabularies for example i am speaking to understand what the ayurveda is vamana karma when you are starting the pulse oximeter shows 99 to 100% of the oxygen percentage in the peripheral circulation as you are going to induce the vamana with the akhantapana lacto medium dugdham question here is one more thing as a tip i am giving even though it is not connected with the lecture always the people are giving the ushna dugdha vamana is always with the cold just try whatever i am saying don't follow don't believe you practice it you experience it and you do it give one vamana with the ushna dugdham or sukhoshta dugdham second vamana with the sita dugdham or the milk taken from the fridge the milk taken from the fridge or the with the milk temperature around 20 22 degrees of the temperature yields a better vamana than that of why the simplest thing is the ushna dugdha is going to be absorbed very faster into this system whereas sheetha dugdha is not going to be get absorbed in the past if you want a faster action for example we need instant virechana add the abhayarishtam alcohol added are going to be having a rapid action if you want to have the sadhya snehana if you are giving this sneha with that of the saindhava is faster enough if you are adding this saindhava with ghrata along with a arishta asava it will be fastest it is getting absorbed very fast if you want to have the most effective sadhyasnehana i want to add abhayarishta or the arishta asavas whichever is going to be added with that of the sneha fastest absorption without any interruption you can find within 2 to 3 hours the fat percentage of the blood is being increased in a such a rapid way even as i am speaking with the pulse oximeter when you are going to see the koshta gatatvam of the dosha oscillation is going to take place dosha sthira kabhi bhi nahi hota hai it never be a fixed it is always oscillating from the shakha to that of the koshta here i give a very specific definition of the koshta what is the koshta koshta is with the 15 organs as said in the sharira sthana all the 15 organs are called as a splankanam the splankanam is going to be the koshtam what is the shakha shakha raktadayo tvaksha this is being translated by our learned people as the sapta dhatus no according to my understanding shakha raktadayo tvaksha raktadayo means interstitial compartment with that of the blood and blood components like platelets wbc blah 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 etc chemicals along with the tvak is the peripheral vascularity peripheral vascular circulation peripheral circulation now there is two varieties of the circulation one is the peripheral circulation in the tvak and vascularity the second is the central circulation in this planconum planconic flow or planconic pooling of the blood whenever this planconic pooling of the blood is going to be there the peripheral vascular circulation is going to be deprived when it is being deprived you see in the pulse oximeter it is dropping up to the 90 oxygen percentage in the peripheral vascularity is dropping up to 90 it clearly indicates the splanconic pooling that is the koshta gatatvam of the dosha when the koshta gatatvam of the dosha is there accumulated as it reaches to the 90 almost 
it, it decreases according to the percent person varies from 95 to 90 also. Immediately at the time, the vega is going to be get appeared and the expulsion is going to be there. Once the expulsion is complete, the peripheral vascular circulation is being restored. And once again, the pulse oximeter shows 99%. These oscillations you can very clearly monitor. Number two, whenever the BP is going to be reaching the higher levels, 150, 180 of the systolic, 120, 130 of the diastolic, at the time it is going to show the 120, 130 of the pulse rate also. This rapid pulse rate is because of the sodium shift from the intracellular compartment to the interstitial compartment. And the potassium shift of the inter, inter, intracellular to the interstitial and sodium loss from the interstitial speaks this hridrava. This is the stage where you have to make the electrolyte balancing. The best universal medication from the nature is Eshtimadhu. Eshtimadhu makes the electrolyte balancing. Wherever there is an electrolyte imbalances of any of the concerned disease, use the Eshtimadhu. It is going to make the balancing of the electrolytes. Now this electrolyte balancing is possible with the Eshtimadhu Panta, not with the Eshtimadhu Kashaya. All the people is going to do a common mistake. They just make the Kwatha instead of the Fanta. Much of the times, people doesn't know what is the difference between the Fanta and Kashaya. People prepare the Fanta in the morning, the other person, another doctor comes and gives the instruction as if it has to be heated. Otherwise, how it is going to be? Vamana always with the Sita Dravyas, Virechana with the Ushta Dravyas. A standard principle of Ayurveda. If you are giving the Ushta Dravya Vamana, it is Ayogya and it is going to be incomplete. If at all you are getting a Vamana patient with Virechana after, in between or after that, the person is going for the defecation, that means your Vamana is not subject. If a person who is getting Virechana, he, he goes with the Vamana, that means he is having the Kapha. Without removing the Kapha, you have undertaken the Virechana, that's why he is getting it. Because the Virechana Dravya is also Bhoyopaka and Vamana Dravya also Bhoyopaka. Second thing. If at all you are using the Madana Phala Pippali, you never get the Virechana for the patient. If you are using the Madana Phala in total, then you are going to be bound to get, patient is bound to get the Virechana. Because the Madana Phala Bija is a Vamaka, Madana Phala Thwak is a Virechana. If you want to give only Virechana, give the only Madana Phala Thwak, it is going to be made out. Why I am trying to give this summarization of the small things is, most of the people, they are going to ask the same questions. So as such, here I would like to give a small clarification. Now let me go for the, our presentation of the day, OPD services in Panchakarma. When we are uh, making this uh, Panchakarma at OPD level, the first and foremost thing which we have to do is we have to make our people understanding with the, what is the Ayurveda. What is this Ayurveda when we are looking at? We get lots of the informations related to that of the Ayurveda as the Ayurveda is to protect the person from different issues which we are going to get in the day-to-day -day practices. Now, very well, we are very much understanding what is this OPD practice. Whether this OPD practice is there before to that of the 14,000 years ago, the question here is, Ayurveda is a very antique. Ayurveda is not of the present day. People ask me how you can say the Ayurveda is of 14,000 years old. Ayurveda speaks about the Pushyabhi as the Dhruvakam. 
we are using the pushyami nakshatra is auspicious for many of the things including like kumsavana kriya and other things the medicine whenever to start ayurveda describes it is to be made out or started in pushyami nakshatra that means the pushyami as an axis when we are taking at present the same axis is lying in ashwini nakshatra this ashwini nakshatra to pushyami nakshatra is eight nakshatras ashwini bharani prati karavani mrutira ardra punarvasu pushyami each and every nakshatra or the star 13 degrees 20 minutes arc this axis moves in 2000 years eight stars is 16000 years so in between 14 to 16000 years back at present whatever we are reading the ayurveda was recorded or written this much of the golden subject which we are looking at the time in any of the ayurveda textbook is there any hospital prescription hospital stay has been described everything was at the opd level only today because of the government rules and regulations we are making an ipd wherever we require we have to observe the patient further either the doctor has to go to the patient or patient has to come to the doctor and they were having a residential programs also now this programs of the different services whichever we are providing under the panchakarma how many are of the suitable how many patients are convincing our demands or our instructions so as such here i just want to say the present today lifestyle the present today lifestyle is so critical and uh, whatever the panchakarma procedures has been introduced at the long long time at the time it was something different at the time they were having very limited work limited occupation limited resources everything is limited and even the limited people they have much of the leisure time probably the ancient times or your parental grandfather he would have had 16 days of the marriage after that it has been come for the five days marriage after the three days now one day now one hour one minute one minute marriage also is coming out that means we are having no time this climatic changes dietetic changes of the lifestyle and the human delicacies and sensitivities are also playing a lots of the role the commencement of this industrialization of the present era with no time and busy individualities i is making our medical managements by the physicians very difficult we do require such a time how many of patients are required a seven days nehana whether the seven days nehana effect is being achieved in the seven hours or not this is what the way we are thinking traditionality versus the modernization gramya vaso himolam asasthanam this is what the charaka says whenever there is an industrialization urbanization this makes the everybody ill the people are working more and more the working capacities are as increasing and working becoming compulsory at that time we have to understand ourselves how these people could be treated in a proper way to protect this no time people we need to adopt the opd levels of the panchakarma in a 24 hours pattern also i have given out of the sevana kala this video is available on youtube techno ayurveda you can just go through how many n number of the panchakarmas can be done at a different timings whatever the way the traditionality focusing i was asking the same question show me the reference where is the niruha vasti to be given before to the suryadaya only no 
Niruha Vasti has to be given after the proper evacuation of these tools by the patient. If it is not going to be there, then what I do is I give the first lukewarm water enema, then the Niruha Vasti. I want the evacuation of the mala. I don't want my Niruha Vasti to make the only evacuation of the mala. It has to be get absorbed. Unless you are not providing a flora or the surface for the absorption, how could your Niruha Vasti is being absorbed? This makes a question and also thought provocation. This OPD level panchakarma, when we are thinking of practicing it, we have to make this panchakarma as an eliminative specialty for the accumulated toxins. What these accumulated toxins are? First and foremost, AMA. AMA is going to be the, I define in a smaller context, all the ammonia byproducts are AMA in nature urea and uric acid. I was speaking about the lipid solubility and the water solubility of the blood components. Urea is a water soluble which is being excreted through the urine whereas the uric acid is a fat soluble. If you want to make the uric acid removal, you need to undertake a snehapana where the uric acid bonding is going to be there with and thereafter the only Vamana. I have demonstrated in the same Kargar YMT, 13.7 was the uric acid. In the morning sample before Vamana we have collected. After the completion of the Vamana at two o'clock, we have taken the second sample. That was 7.9 uric acid. After the Vamana, the uric acid has come up to the normal. 7.5 is the normal, 7.9. It is almost normal. Probably second vomana is being required. We have even considered how much time it took to regain or to increase this uric acid. It took around three and a half to four months. That too because of the dietetic factors followed by the patient. Otherwise, that was oscillating in between this 7.8 to 8.5 only for a longer time. That means the second vamana after in a periodic schedule, if it is being organized, should have been proper. Now this toxins, endotoxins, we have to reclassify water soluble, lipid soluble, lacto soluble, and alcohol water solubility. Based upon that, we have to choose our panchakarma procedures. Many of the government and NGOs, they are effectively taking the benefits of this panchakarma into the public. The awareness is being there with, but this no time people, how can they get the time? I have seen many people, those who travel two to three hours and they come back at a late night. One of my friend, was traveling in the same way. Uh, he was blessed with a child. After a couple of years, I asked, how old is your child? He said, three years. Oh, he has grown much higher, I said. No, I did not see him while standing. When he's sleeping, he looks like this much. Because always he saw his son only while sleeping. Before his son gets up, he is for the rushing for the job. And when by the time he come back, the sun is sleeping already. That means this much of the sun or this much of the sun, they have to only measure in the width, but not by the length. This is the pity of the present day employee. This rigid and costly panchakarma inputs given by the physicians also making lots of the problem. Because why do this nehapana is required for the seven days? Why can't it be done in seven minutes? I like it. We are going previously, if at all somebody has to go for the, say, Varanasi, from here probably it was taking minimum of the 15 days by walk to go. But today, with, within 15 minutes, we can reach even. Why not the same thing to be adaptability? Now the question is, the pharmacological actions of this panchakarma has to be brought into the limelight 
by the practitioners and traditionality versus the successful modern compatible rules and regulations has to be brought into the nature i do suggest nehapana very instantaneously for i said the first one is sa saindhavas nehapana my thing is very clear how much is to be given just to check the weight what is the weight of the patient patient is 94 kg give him 100 g 100 g of the sneha one tenth of the saindhava patient is 70 right 70 ml of the ghrita with 7 g of the saindhava perish that means whatever the weight of the patient is that much of the sneha is to be given at a single dose along with saindhava if the patient is required very fast or the still the agri is not there properly deepana pachana why do we do this deepana pachana separately add the same the deepana pachana dravyas into the same sneha sneha with the saindhava ajamodarka to be added for the same thing give the anupana as the ajamodarka let the sneha is being digested in 70 minutes 70 ml of the sneha is digested in 70 minutes when you are giving the ajamodarka and ushno the kanupana, why do you wait? See that if at all you have still doubt, take the lipid profile before to the snehapana. After 24 hours, next day you take the snehapana. What is the percentage of the HDL cholesterol? Very specifically, is being increased. Then automatically you are going to make out. Second is we have the wax test as just scratch on the skin, and you can just see whether it is unctuous or not. 100% the person is going to become anxious because you are making a sodium bond fatty acids to be digested and to be assimilated to go into the bloodstream to make the vilayana or the vishyandana. Now, this no time people population has to be targeted with the techniques of the physics and chemistry adopted to the Ayurveda principles. And the rigid and costly techniques of the Ayurveda we have to leave, then this OPD population are going to be very much comfortably coming to us. I don't mind to the Vamana till 12 o'clock also if it is done under the AC room. My question is only one thing. Vamana is to be done under 20 degrees of the centigrade. Acclimatization of the body has to be made out. If the patient is under in a AC room, a one hour before to the Vamana, his peripheral vascular circulation is going to be shifted to that of the central or this planconic. This is what is being expected in the Vamana karma. Let it be instead of the 20, make it 14, 12, let it be cool enough. Second, if at all you are thinking the before Surya Daya or sun not to be seen, keep the all curtains, dark curtains or no windows and there will be no sunlight coming into the room and no sun is being seen is also okay. That means you are protecting from the light. Okay then. See, each and everything could be adaptable. Adaptability is being spoken in the Charaka Samhita and also Vagvata very specifically. This adaptability where we are going to have the acceptability of this OPD practices of the Panchakarma are going to be developed. Whether this Ayurveda is going to accept the OPD practice, 100% yes, it allows with the care. Ayurveda follows the circadian rhythms. Many of the Ayurveda people do not bother about the circadian rhythms. The circadian rhythms are the serotonin, melatonin axis otherwise and the biological clock of the individual. When you are going to follow the biological clock of the individual, what is this biological clock I am saying? Nowadays, the people are getting up, especially in the Northern. Before 7.30, nobody gets up. Out of here, the 30, 40 members, I am 100% sure. Before sunrise at 4.30, 5 o'clock, how many people of you get up? Please raise your hand. Nobody. 6.30, four or five hands are going to come. 7.30, almost all. 8.30, all people are wake up. No. The circadian rhythms, it is a very specific because 
your serotonin, serotonin melatonin axis diagonality is going to change in between 4.30 to 7.30. The peak hours of the circadian rhythm changing and cardiac problem which is being said and reported is always in between 3.30 to the 4.30. You just go for the research papers. N number of the percentage of the highest percentage of the cardiac attacks appear in between 3.30 to 4.30 because your body temperature goes into so low and because of your AC still lower and thereby cardiac choke and the cardiac arrest. What our Ayurveda people said is wake up at that time so that your body become warm. You are being protected from the cardiac attack. This is the importance of the circadian rhythm and serotonin melatonin axis. One more thing I just want to bring into your notice. How many of you people takes your dinner from 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock in the night? 10 to 12 o'clock, 10 to 11 o'clock. Many of the present day business people and the many people takes the food after 10.30, 11 o'clock. Ayurveda suggests always this as the circadian rhythm axis is getting changed. Before 8 o'clock, if the person is going to be complete his dinner, he is going to be healthy. Now, this Ayurveda, dosha migration, as I said, from the Sakha to that of the Koshta, this migration is also one of the most important. The patient is in need to be follow the instructions of the physician and the event of the panchakarmas because many n number of the panchakarmas could be done at any time. The most of the things are going to be get related. Vaihoratri Bhuktanante Majjhariya Krama, this is the Vagbhata which is going to be stated apart from one is the agni of the patient. The second is said to be the how the patient is being sleeping. The nidra is also most important here. Now, people, those who are working for the America, they work total night and in the total day, they sleep. This is one more problem which we are getting it. What we have to do for them? We can bring all these people into these categories. The, for doing these people happy and healthy, what is in need? What we need? First and foremost requirement is a separate room with a washroom facility. The room selected should be under the temperature control, air condition, a closed room with the preferred dimensions of the 12 into 14 feet, carpet area or attached WC. Equipments, droni, steaming equipment, shirodhara, sarvangdhara, etc. One room is sufficient to do at the OPD level. All these materials, whatever we procure, manpower of the panchakarma therapist, female and male, which we are going to have it. And restrictions. Are there any restrictions for the panchakarma? Between difference between this healthy and diseased is the only one to be noticed. Healthy can be done at any time. As I said, the Niruhu can be done up to 10 o'clock also. Vamana can be done up to 10 o'clock also. Virejana, you initiate up to 10 o'clock also. Absolutely no problem. Nascha, you can do at any time. Sirodhara can be done at any time. Even at the night, 12 o'clock also, you can do the Sirodhara. Absolutely no problem. Now, the deceased, we have to already, he is going to be deceased. That's why he is going to provide some time also. We have to understand the severity and the necessity of the dosha elimination. Here, I would like to bring into your notice. One is the dosha, otherwise the sodhana, and dosha pratyanika chikitsa. Dosha pratyanika chikitsa. Second is the vyadhi disease, vyadhi pratyanika chikitsa. Third is the lakshana, lakshana pratyanika chikitsa. When these three varieties of the treatments are there, which of the things which we are going to lose, choose? When you are following under the room temperature control, you can avoid the complications. The dosha for that, whenever the kapha is there, you want to eliminate. 
choose the cold conditions, cold climatic. You put your AC in between 10 to 12 degrees. Coldest. It has to be like Himalayas. If it is of the Pitta, you want to eliminate with the Virajana. See that the normal temperatures are going to be there with. If you want to treat the Vata, Vata Vyadhi, Basti, at the time, you need a warmer room conditions. These treatments, when we see, what are the common treatments of the Panchakarma can be done? I do feel everything can be done. But still, most common things which I have picked up under the Abhyanga category, Dhatra Abhyanga, Siro Abhyanga, Mukha Abhyanga, Pada Abhyanga, Udvartana can be done very comfortably at the OPD levels. And Nadi Sveda, Box Sveda, they are the optionals which you can do. Nadi Sveda very comfortably can be done. And even the uh, Box or the Peti Sveda. Snehapana, Sirodhara can be done. Vamana Virechana Basti, Nasya, Jaloka Charana Raktamana. What else is there? Everything we have already covered. That means, what things, whenever we are doing, at what we have to make out at the OPD levels, I just try to give you a small things. And if at all there are questions, we can make it out. OPD level Abhyanga. It is the first and foremost very easy procedure. With one or two can be done. We need only a table and skilled therapist. That's it. No time restriction. You can do from the 30 minutes to the 45 minutes at any time of the day. Room temperature is normal. Thereby, there is no need of any speciality also. Oils required can be heated on the induction stove. There is no need of even the gas and other things. Steps to be followed here, the moisture in the body. This is the most important. If you moisten the body, the percentage of the absorption of the oil into the body is 12% extra. Commonly, 6 to 8% is the absorption of the oil. If it is going to be heated, it is going to be up to 14%. If, it is, if the body is moistened with a wet towel and Abhyanga is done, it goes up to the 24%. That means we can achieve the maximum effect with a simple thing by regulating the body moistening and temperature. Supine position back, only two posture is sufficient. We doesn't require the seven posture treatments at the OPD level. Jab roti sekne ka hai, dono taraf hi sekte hai. Tisra wo pura roll karke hum todi sekte hai roti ko. The same way, we are just making the Supine and prone, two positions are going to be there. And with the two positions, you can treat very comfortably. And 15 minutes, 15 minutes, 30 minutes is the minimum. Otherwise, you can extend a little 15 minutes. Even see, the speed is also important. There are few people, those who expect to, for the healthy people, up to one and a half hour massage, which is slow in rhythm. A faster and regulative rhythm is going to be get completed. Whether you are making how much toning of the muscle with your massage is the important. And as the Sweda karma, when there is a Sweda appearing on the forehead, you have to stop is being said. Is there any such thing for the, when you are making any Abhyanga, at what time you have to stop? You have to stop whenever the patient is feeling the clama. Clama, fatigue. Patient feels, patient also get tired. Because of the Abhyanga, by the time the patient started sleeping or feeling the Klama, you stop the Abhyanga. Now, the Nadi Sveda is very easy to be given or it can be given on the induction cooker or plug and play also is there. Post Abhyanga body oil can be wiped out with the tissue papers or the soap water towel and later with the dry towel and you, even you can put the hot air for drying the body faster also. So, this Abhyanga is very comfortable and there is absolutely no problem. And this Nehapana is the second procedure. This Nehapana as a Purva Karma we follow for the Vamana Virechana and uh, we adopt this Nehapana as a procedure of the emaciated Vata and uh, especially for the Virechana, I, even this Samhita did not offer the, any Purva Karma of the Nehapana, what I do is for making the effective bile evacuation, effective 
bile evacuation my virechana formula is like like trivrut avaleha 25 grams with the 25 grams of the trivrut uh, trifala churna this trifala churna is added with that of the based on the disease or otherwise the tiktaka ghritas of the 25 ml 25 ml of the tikta ghrita 25 ml of the trifala churna and 25 ml of the trivrut avaleha this becomes a combination if it is going to be more effectively to be given add one abhyadi modaka tablet also this makes the total colon cleansing but only the sansarjana krama you have to follow very regulatively otherwise the people as we are taking this cleansing the total bacteria flora from the stomach till to the of the anus all this flora is being restructured it requires minimum of the 3 days time 3 days this patient has to go with the bland diets only the steps of this nehapana is very comfortable massage already we can make it out and even for the local massage for the limbs is sufficient central area not required other salted medicated uh, we can make out or even with the alcohol as i said or alcohol not alcohol aswarishtas let the patient undergo the nadi swetha for 10 to 15 minutes accordingly now the question of the shirodhara this is a very soothing effect any of the stress release to be done this can be done at any time anywhere and uh, i use a small this baby tub on the same normal table attached to this and the head is in the tub and dhara is coming from the flow on the battery operated or otherwise the uh, this uh, summer time air cooler pump air cooler pump is going to give very comfortable flow you can regulate it the extra flow can be maintained and a small knobs are being necessary to be done and put it on and oscillate and it doesn't require and this is going to be get dropped into the tub and from the tub this is going to be lifting up uh, very easy to be done we doesn't require any much skills also because it is being either the battery run or the electric run of the pump which is going to be put put in the air coolers <clears throat> make the shirobhanga for 10 minutes before and 45 minutes of the dhara approximately and wash the only head in the same tub you can just remove the rest of the things and people can hair wash shampoo etc and even the dryer can be used for the drying the hair and the patient is comfortable it is like a spa treatment and goes off giving the comfortable money and at the end better use the shampoo for the dhrita this is arishtaka this is going to be very comfortable enough and thalam of the rastadi churna if it is, if you are going to add little agaru for it and that will be giving the perfume also the people are going to feel happy along with the dryness and this uh, rastadi churna and the agaru then this is uh, giving good feeling also then comes vamana it is a real difficult program but can be done very comfortably you can plan according to your op timings some people have the 10 o'clock that means 8 o'clock to 10 o'clock in between this vamana can be very comfortably finished off and uh, 3 to 4 hours approximately we do require accordingly you can plan it and uh, we can plan at the early hours also not to have any disturbance according to your conveniences abhinga sneha pana as it is going to be done already at the opd levels we can use a tub for the vomit collections the necessary liquids the milk estimadu fanta fanta not the <laughs> once i was fanta filau na pula maine patient ko to patient puchta hai mujhe fanta acha nahi lagta hai mujhe coca cola chahiye so whenever you are saying you you use the prefix estimadu the other way people uh, may feel but i have a very great experience one patient is so reluctant she doesn't want to take either the milk she doesn't want to consume the milk she doesn't want to consume the esti madhu somehow she consumed initially two three glasses of the milk and after that we have given already this madana phala yoga now i have to get this madana phala out how i have to get that was the only one in history that is done in vardha i brought this fanta same font of the drink cool drink with the font i have done the vamana <laughs> because my purpose is i want to get this vamaka dravya out 
once this vamaka dravya was out i just said okay baba thank you very much from next time onwards i will be starting asking this is the thing which you have to are you ready if they say yes then it is then the other liquids which we are going to have the lavana odaka as i was speaking then in the more in the initial stage i was narrating as for this electrolyte balance is going to be there at the time we are giving this st madhu panta then the, when the lavana is to be given when this lavana is to be when this is going to fall suddenly at one stage the bp falls below to that of the normal of the individual if the patient is with 80 of the diastolic it falls to the 75 and 70 at the time the sodium low sodium brings this bp down then the lavanodaka has to be given for the restoration then it's a very comfortable and the selection of the drug and combination according to your uh, choice and importance can be made out and then we'll go for the virechana this we can go with the tele medicine let the pay out the videos uh, people are having the many of the things on the phone itself the patient is going to be directly we can monitor also so we have to just see that whether the patient is going to be get dehydrated or not if the properly is going to drink the like the vamanopaka dravya st madhu virechanopaka dravya if at all you are going to give as a kashaya or the now this say kismis or the draksha grape juice give the grape juice they are happy enough and this nari kela jala otherwise anything which you are going to make it out is a comfortable and uh, see the nadi and thereby the you can make the manage the things and uh, um, virechana is a very comfortable and the virechana dravya as accordingly you are going to choose is very nice enough now comes vasti this is once again a little problematic area because we don't understand when the patient wants to be get evacuated but cleansing the dosha of the vata before to that clean the mala suddhi should be done you may be giving the sukhasara kavati or any of the mild uh, rechana is in the night as a trifala chorna the next day the patient evacuates properly after the mala evacuation evacuation you give the niruha basti and ensure mala evacuation and thereafter you can choose it preparation of this uh, basti dravya is once again headache putting in a pot or grinding 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 it is not necessary you just purchase 1 and 1/2 liter or 2 liters grinder wet grinder in the wet grinder you first start put the sindhava then the sequenceation is there and it is going to grind in 5 minutes you get a best isotonic solution of the basti dravya which could be very comfortably made out second administration in the administration i don't know how many of you people are acquainted with the of this uh, self suction or the whenever there is uh, any surgery is undertaken they are going to put a bag which is going to be get collapsed and it is being attached it creates a vacuum and it is going to be pull out it is for used for the very specifically the drainage or the extrusion drainage in the surgical manifestations the same thing you use in a reverse one fill this same in a, with the kashaya reverse it and see that there is no air bubble and push at once the basti which you are going to give or administer has to reach within 1 minute into the colon you should not give for 20 minutes or 30 minutes hanging the such a big thing and with the gravitational pull the entire basti dravya has to be entered into the colon within 1 minute lubrication of the local area or the is being made what it has been come out is local snehana local snehana is including the kati people are doing it's okay there is absolutely no problem and uh, this total retention takes place in between 24 minutes to 48 minutes minimum 24 minutes if it is going to be retained that was the acts if it is going to come before then is a problem now i have one more formula for this also what is the height of the patient 5 feet okay for each and every feet 14 ml of the vasti dravya is required after preparation preparation of the vasti dravya we made as it is in the 2 liter jar patient is with 60 inches 
right? Five feet is 60 inches. For each inch, 14 ml. 60 inches into 14 is 830 ml, if I am not mistaken. That is the optimum dose or the reliable dose. If the patient is thin, reduce 10%. If the patient, patient is thick, 80 ml you reduce from the 830. If the patient is obese, make extra 10%. 80 ml extra. 830 plus 80 is 910. That means we have got the range. This is a very comfortable and patient is going to retain for the 24 minutes minimum. And the same thing, 24 minutes is going to be awaited in the woman also. 24 minutes after that, only you give something. People are going to give the madana pala after that, they are giving the once again the ishtimadha panta, the other way, dhukta pana. Why you want to overload it? What is your expectation? Whatever is in the interstitial compartment, so called sakha, from the sakha you want, you are expecting the things to be flown into the stomach. You are not giving any airport in the stomach to land directly into the stomach and thereby it can come out. So you have to provide some time. There's a minimum 24 minutes and 48 minutes. Anyway, the washroom is made available for these people. The next comes the nasya. The nasya karma is a very comfortable either the masya or the prasimasya. There is no much things to be done with this and very pe comfortably people with the pratisya, ardita, shiro, even in the sitting at the lobby also, the patient can be undertaken with the nasya. No need of any special attentions made. Now the akshatarpana. This is one more thing which is very comfortably practiced here. But it requires a skill and a learning also. How to pour it and with what temperatures. This is the most important. This can be practiced very comfortable with the minimal equipments also. Next comes with the Rakta Mokshana. Out of the Sira Vyatha is a very comfortable to be performed. See that the cleanliness and disposal. Very specifically, whenever you are letting the blood, the disposal of this blood is because this could be contaminating or it could be giving infection or it may be prone for the infection. So all the precautions of the disposal of this human bio waste should and must be taken into the care. Whenever there is a musculoskeletal problem or skin disease, very comfortably Siravyadha can be done. And the Jalauka Charana is also very easy, not much problematic, can be done very comfortably for the skin disease and acne and the cupping. The cupping is the one more important. There are two varieties, dry cupping and the wet cupping. In the wet cupping, we are going to puncture and the blood is going to be drawn and the dry cupping directly air is being sucked. They are both are going to be making a stimulation for the musculoskeletal disorders very commonly or the IVDP and any other things can be done. And this cupping. Next comes this agrikarma. This agrikarma much is practiced in the west coast. When you go into the Kerala area or the Karnataka area of the other areas, the agrikarma is not having much importance. What I have seen mostly is Gujarat and Maharashtra. These two areas, this agrikarma is so prevalent. And this has been otherwise converted also is being there. <coughs> chemical cauterization like. Chemical cauterization and electrical cauterization. This I feel with the electrical impulses, with the battery also now the people are going to be doing. And this uh, finid cauterization, they put the two pins and the anode and cathode, thereby there will be electrical pulsations are going to be get passed. That is having a more impact. Otherwise, they are initiating the local neural networks. The second is the chemical cauterization is different and we don't use here. People are using this agrikarma for many of the musculoskeletal disorders and also disc compressions and etc. So, when this OPD level panchakarma is done, I think I have made most of the clarities how this is to be done and how we have to bring this Patients at the OPD level. The last but not the least is the cost effectiveness. You try to see as much as with the lesser price, if at all you are doing as much as you are going to have the n number of the patients to you. This makes the lots of the difference. Why so? Because if at all you are doing the Vamana at 500 rupees, 
50 patients, you are doing it. If you are doing with the 5,000 rupees vamana, you will be doing only two vamanas. It's, I said just only approximation. According to your calculation of the money, manpower, etc., you are going to make the calculation. The OPD practice of the panchakarma, it is, shouldn't must be encouraged by the patients. We have to make the working times. I was practitioner between 82 to 95. 94. This 12 years of the span, when the, all the people are at home, I am working in the clinic. When the, all people are working, I am taking rest at the home. Because when the people are not coming back to home, how they can come to the clinic? This is a big problem. Now see the timings of the patient their leisure times, adaptabilities, thereby you offer 100% I am assuring the patients are going to be with you. If you are going to offer Abhyanga at 8 o'clock in the evening, n number of the patients are going to be there with you. If you are offering in the same way 6 o'clock Abhyanga or the 6 o'clock any Panchakarma procedure, people are ready to be with you. They want this 10 o'clock to 5 o'clock time free or one hour cushion time of the before to go for the their offices. If you make them free by 8 o'clock, many people will come with you. If your price is low, they are, there will be a very big line and there will be no time for you. But these all these no time people will come to you, thereby there will be no time for you ultimately. Do not have time with their schedules or try to make your accommodations Accommodating the patients with a proper environment and the not too costly environment make it amicable. Technology and telemedicine, these two are to be adopted. Why we are doing anything? If somebody is going to ask, why you are doing this? Why you are giving me this? You, you are supposed to be explaining in a proper technical terminology of the present day where the patient is going to understand. If suppose you are all here, if I started speaking in German language, what you can understand? This is not to show my intelligence or my vocabulary. If I am using the rapid phrases as such, which is not to be understood by the hearing community, what will the use? Our community is the patient community. Patient community shouldn't must be learned what is being happening to them when as a part of the treatment. Then the people are going to be with you. My patient comes from the long distances, wherever I am. Why they come? Because they have trust. I explain them what is actually happening. They get the same way result. That's why they come. Now, the, with the OPD level of the Panchakarma development and adaptations, it can propagate the Panchakarma in a better way with the cost effectiveness and patient friendly environmentals. So, here I stop my lecture. These are the books which I have written Practical SOP Panchakarma, Out of Stock, Art of Panchakarma, COVID Affected. Book is not available, available at present. Some are available, some are not available, some are the part. And I offer pulse diagnosis and I offer medical astrology. These two courses I offer, I'm getting maybe in a month, I'll be releasing the medical astrology book also. So this is the thing what we are here with. Now you can let me know if you have any questions and doubts.